what is going on guys snack out here back for another video today is part two of turning one dollar into a thousand dollars and last time we left off with eleven dollars remaining in cash and 19 spotify premium upgrade accounts one thing i do want to address though is some people or one person in particular thought that the accounts were actually stolen from people but i guess i should have specified in the video that they're not actually other people's accounts they're all upgrade keys for a reason because they actually upgrade the account that you have that's right your own information your own password your own song saves your own playlist it gives your account the upgrade to the premium without actually stealing anyone's information so just to let you guys know you're not using anybody's uh, account that's being paid for you're actually just paying for the upgrade itself and the bot has a system that gets you that without actually stealing people's money or putting your account into the plan to take their money so we're gonna continue with that anyways we have some packages here that i might open up later for a new video about three of them and i might do an unboxing but during this last past week i've been taking the time to think about other ways i could turn this 11 dollars and the accounts i have left into a thousand remember i'm giving myself one month time to do this so we're actually on to the first week we just finished that now we're in the middle of the second week and we only have three more weeks left so we're gonna have to take things into account that time isn't too much what we have left all right so after i did a little bit of research here's what i really decided i came right, down so to. here's what i found out after the research i knew that you can get packages on usps.com for free if you go into the web store and you go to postal store and click shipping supplies you can look at a lot of range of packages that they deliver to your house for absolutely no charge zero dollars guys so i went and ordered a couple type of packages here let me show you two of them th that i did buy. Okay, before we continue this video any further i want to remind you guys to please leave a like on this video and comment something and even if it's something random or something not really related to the video comment it it boosts the algorithm of my video up to people's recommendations and it really helps this video a lot and helps me like promote my content more as a creator on youtube so remember sure you do that smash the like button guys all right let's continue so the first one that i bought was this kind um it's called the medium flat rate box it's a pretty decent size and i could say you could hold like um a good amount of stuff in here although you couldn't probably fit like a shoe box in here you could definitely put many other things inside and something that's not as big i bought one of the padded flat rate envelopes and uh yeah they shipped actually pretty soon they came like in four days so i would definitely recommend ordering them a little bit ahead of time if you are trying to do something at a certain day just because they don't ship the next day obviously but anyways you can't complain because they came free i ordered about 15 packs of these and i ordered about five of those boxes so what my idea was is that maybe with the 11 dollars, and if we do sell a couple more accounts we could potentially scroll through amazon ebay or something like facebook marketplace offer up maybe even craigslist but i don't really feel like meeting out with anyone during this coronavirus just to see if we could find some really low prices with our $11. I know, there's not much money to work with, but that's what the challenge is. It's challenging, right? It wouldn't be a challenge if it was easy to find things under that price. So we're going to try to look some things up and see if I can ship anything out. And obviously, I would have to consider the shipping cost as part of the, lo the loss in the profit. But we're going to do a little bit of research on that. Let me show you on my computer what we're going to look for. And I'll show you guys right now. Let's go. So first things first, I headed over to Amazon and thinking I should sell something like hype stickers. One, because I could easily ship them in envelopes that would only cost $1 max if I was shipping far away. And I could sell them for maybe about 25 cents each and people would buy them online. So, you know, they are pretty good designs. But I still decided to hold off on that idea because I wanted to look for better prices and maybe other things I could sell before I spent this $11. Okay, so the next thing I want to look into is this thing, Supreme Oreos, right? They released for $3 retail, a little bit of shipping and tax. But anyways, you were limited to buy eight packs per person. And there's a huge demand in the resale market for them because people are interested in trying them. Or people who weren't able to buy them for retail, they want to get them for resale just to try them themselves. Or maybe they're holding on to it for whatever reason they want to invest. But one of my friends is selling them for pretty low. So I'm going to hit him up and I'm going to see if I can make a deal with him. And I'll show you guys if he does get it over here and if the deal works out. Like I looked at the stickers earlier and I thought, well, the stickers would come here next week. And that would take another bit of time off my challenge. I need something where I can do it quicker. And the guy lives pretty local. So we're going to see what we can arrange. And I'll show you guys the footage right now. All right, so let me explain what happened. So I asked him if he still had the packs available. And I said, let me cop one. He said, sure. I asked him how much. He said $8, and I knew that was kind of a good deal. They are reselling around $10 to $15, so I knew that I could make an easy $7 flip right there because I have customers in demand for Oreos, for the Supreme ones. So $8, and I told him that, okay, well, I asked him, how do you want to do this? And he said, I could drop off at your house tomorrow. I remember I said he lives locally. I said, I don't have cash. And basically, he just said it was expensive, and I paid him right, in Venmo. So he got a pack of Oreos. He, pre he came pretty quickly. He came basically in the next two hours. And, uh, let's well, see, I'm recording this video on the Saturday. So, and he came here on Thursday. And this video might be up by Monday. Hopefully, I'm trying to upload it by next week. 
It might be delayed though because I have some bad internet. But we got a pack of orders here. We're going to post it on our Instagram story. And we're going to see if anyone wants to buy it. And if they do, we'll have to do online send because I cannot go anywhere. I cannot deliver. So I'll either have to ship it or I can drop it off at their house. Uh, those are the two options that I really have right now. We're trying to get $15 for this now. So we spent eight of our dollars. Remember, 11 minus eight. We have $3 now. This Oreo cookie and about 18. Wait, no. Yeah, 18 accounts left for the Spotify. Well, it's not even a count. I'm just like keys now. So we got those and let's try to sell this and we'll see what happens. So time for some 10 out of 10 narration skills. All right, so first... He responded with, do you take PayPal? Now, at this point, I wasn't sure if they really wanted to buy it because he didn't ask me any questions. He seemed like he just really wanted to take the price straight forward and didn't even want to negotiate with me. So I said, yes, obviously, I want to sell the cookie. My email is, and I scroll down a bunch of dots, blah, 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 and then you'll find it here. We're going to cut that part out just because I don't want to include my email in here. But anyways, he said, thanks. I said, okay, I got it, meaning I got the notification. He sent the $15 and I charged him a little extra for shipping, but it was only 75 cents because it was a pretty light package. And at that point, I shipped it the next day. Any further, we got the candy dealer merch on. But anyways, I want to point out something very important. Some of the, you know, transactions I've had during this challenge are building relationships with people who are, you know, done in the past to get better deals, which is everything that you guys can do too. Like it's nothing limiting you guys to what you can do. For example, when I bought the Oreo cookies, well, I've done business with him in the past. When I bought the Spotify upgrade keys, I've done business with him in the past. Everything really except for the parts where I was thinking about buying the uh, cash app thing. They were just friends that I knew had cards. But anyways, what I'm seeing here is very important to have connections in the world in order to get things started and take off from the ground. Because without connections, it's really basically you by yourself and it's really tough when you have it that way. Now, talking about uh, what we have at our total now, we have $15 we sold from the cookies. We spent the leftover money from the PayPal to ship the cookies, right? Now, we have $15 plus the $3 leftover after buying them because we purchased them at $8. And we made $7 profit off the flip. Now, we have a total of $18 and 19 keys left to upgrade. We have a little bit more to work with than last time now. $7 more. And we're going to think about a little bit bigger things. We're going to think about eBay selling, potentially making a dropshipping page. Although, I don't know if I will get that done in within like the next three weeks remember i'm putting a challenge time limit so even if i do make a thousand dollars let's say like two months from now from this challenge i'm trying to complete it within one month to call it a success and that's where we really had to think about how to get off the ground once we make our first hundred dollars though i have a feeling the next couple hundred and going to a thousand are just going to be a breeze all right let's see what okay so what i want to show you guys is an app in a website called rakuten if you get it on your phone it's actually going to give you ten dollars to sign up and you get a free $30 if you refer a friend and they join. You guys both get $30. What it is is, well, okay, first, it's not a sponsor. But Rakuten is a place that gives you cash back whenever you buy on certain websites like uh, clothing stores, eBay. Uh, you know, when you're ever tra Target, Amazon, sometimes they'll have deals like that. And they actually allow you to get money. So here you can see my balance on the top right of the screen. I actually have $12.38. Uh, $2.38 of that was from eBay, but $10 of that was from originally joining. And you guys should sign up right now because they have this limited time only until, you know, 5-1, which is uh, what's called May 1st. And you guys should really sign up because I'm going to do this. And hopefully, if I get a friend to join, it's going to help us a lot with $30. I already got another $10 from joining. So now our grand total is going to be at $28. So we went from $1 to $28 without any help from anyone else or selling my things that I already had. Basically, out of just working and finding ways to do things online. All right, let's continue on and let's try to share this with our friends. All right, so to end this video off, I kind of thought about it and I was like, why not? Okay, this might sound stupid, but why not send that link to the same guy who bought the cookies? And like, you know, no one has anything to lose. If he signs up for it, because he has PayPal, right? I'm assuming he has a card connected to his PayPal. If he does do that, then we both make $30. And I have a new idea. Like, you guys are my viewers. You guys can help me too. Like, I can use my platform to help me make money. So, if you guys want to message me on my Instagram at SnackGod, and you guys are eligible, like you have a card or a bank account, I will send you the link and just message me saying, hi, I'm from your recent challenge video, and I'll send you the link. And if you sign up, we'll both make $30, and this could help the challenge progress like expen exponentially, and this is going to be really good. So, I'm going to try sending out to my couple of my friends. I'm going to try sending out to the guy who bought the cookies, and I want to see what he says, because that's going to be interesting. But anyways... If we do make anything else, I'll continue this video further, but I'll end it here if I don't get anything else. So you guys will know if the video is longer and hasn't ended yet. 
All right, so all I did was went back to the same guy, sent in the link. It says basically welcome to Rakuten, blah, blah, blah. Enter this link and get $30 bonus with my free invite. He's like, what's this? I just said, use my link to sign up for uh, Rakuten. We both get $30. And he was like, is it real? And I was like, yeah, I just entering the try. He said, bet. But anyways, we're going to leave it off at that and right, hope he joins this video it. Off, finally, I sent the link to that guy who bought the cookies and we don't know what's going to happen next because he hasn't responded back yet. And I didn't get a notification. But anyways, we're going to have that waiting for the rest of this video. We're going to invest what we have left now. We're going to buy these $16 headphones that come free with Amazon Prime. And uh, basically, they are pretty good. They have like 10-hour battery life. Very good bass boosted stereo, you know, noise canceling upgraded Bluetooth headphones. And we're gonna hopefully we're gonna put this on eBay and sell it for around $25 if possible. And expected delivery is on Sunday. So we're gonna end this video off, guys. I hope you guys do enjoy. Please leave a like if you did. With this, we should have around only two dollars left. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in episode three. All odds were against me like Croatia and I'm Rakitic Started off with a camera cause nobody else saw the picture huh? Times my earnings by 13, get my bank account a bar mitzvah huh?